You got some new information pertaining to the next patch for Star Citizen Alpha 3.20.x. It looks like this is going to be the patch pertaining to CitizenCon and it has some new additions. We're going straight into it. It looks like we're going to be getting our hands on a feature that we've been waiting for for a long time, which is going to be vehicle tractor beams. What it says here is it says implementing tractor beam attached to ships, either remote operated or a turret like attachment. This allows players to move and tow bigger objects, including other ships. The first indication of this was in the most recent Inside Star Citizen episode where they did a design brief for the Cargo Careers episode one, and they did show a Miss Hall C um, having multiple RSI Auroras attached to its cargo grid. So that was a cool thing to see. And um, so yeah, that was our first indication of um, being able to track to beam vehicles. Yeah, so it's actually exciting to finally see this kind of gameplay. So my very first question pertaining to this is, will there be missions associated with tug boating other ships around? Will there be missions that will ask you to move a ship from one location to the other? I think there will. I think um, they can create a career with that. It's very simple and it's another way to for players to find variation in the game as well as to make money so so that's actually really good along with this is going to be the Argo SRV that is a dedicated tugboat so um, some people have been waiting a long time for the ship so it's so fun we're actually going to see this ship in game they have given us some sneak peeks here and there in some of the inside star citizens previously but it's actually good to hear that this is actually scheduled in a 320.x along with this they have the crusader c1 that's also going to become with a 320.x patch and um, it also has a tractor beam so it's perfect timing for that vehicle to drop as well and um, i'm sure the value of it is going to go up because of this the crusader a1 spirit is also going to be scheduled at the same time along with the tumbro storm also so so based on this it looks like they're positioning these vehicles to be dropped with the citizen con patch and um, it'll allow them to actually have more ships and vehicles available for sale so that's what it looks like they're trying to do so they've also included the new retrieve consignment mission also which has been also scheduled to so another type of mission that we can do. They've also added new Crusader platforms to avail for new mission locations as well as loot. Before I let you go, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of September. This time is the Aurora MR. If you want to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of September. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.